everyone, my name is Nick and I'm here at the Rock River Robotics Obstacle Competition in Rockford, Illinois with Team 1736 Robot Casserole. They've had an incredibly successful season, serving as Alliance captains at both of their regionals and having very successful runs in the lower bracket. They have an incredibly effective application of simplicity in their robot, which worked incredibly well for them this season. All of this and more coming up on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions. First Updates Now has become the Fun Robotics Network. Check us out at funroboticsnetwork.com and all the social links that you see above here. And check out some of our new merchandise options that are both fun and robotics related as well too, both on our website and right underneath this YouTube video. Now we're going over to Elliot to talk about their code. Take it away, Elliot. Awesome. Hey guys, so this year we faced a pretty big challenge because we switched from Java to Python. Um, so our entire code base was changed and everything that we knew had to be switched around. But we persevered. Um, we ended up with some pretty awesome auto routines, like the one you see here. This is just a piece of one of them. Um, yeah. So we uh, we take like we use this tool called Choreo, and we stitch different pieces of paths together to come up with like cool auto routines. Like this one can score three notes in auto. It's pretty consistent. Um, yeah. Great. Um, was there anything in particular that led you to kind of decide that switch over to Python? I know that's what Team Four Team's making recently as well. High is developing a vision support suit. Yeah. Um, so one of the big reasons was that more of our mentors like work professionally with Python because Python is just a more common language. So that was one of the biggest reasons why we switched. Um, yeah, just the growing support as well. You know, just stuff like that. All right, now we're going over to Jaden to talk about their intake mechanism. All right, wait. Our intake mechanism um, is a set of various wheels in a line that please activate it. That stuck in a note. Oh, like this, which then sends it, sends it up on a series of belts into our shooter, which can be explained a bit about by Aaron. Now, our shooter is connected directly with the same piece as the intake, just a straight shot into the shooter. And the shooter will, but the intake will jump up into the shooter and the shooter will shoot. We also have this mechanism up here that can turn and allow us, sorry, allow us to shoot into the amp by just bending our note, which is quite useful. So I guess one thing I'm wondering is, was there any particular uh, shifts in the design process that led you to this? Yes. There was several shifts. Shifts we went from several designs, including just having fewer belts to, or only one line of belts that are offset from each other. We originally thought not even having these wheels down here, but we eventually decided on the current design we have as it was deemed to be the most effective. We have recently implemented a new system of wiring where we label both the beginning of the wire, the wire itself, and then all the way at the end of it, which we'll see if I can find that one. But, but yeah, so we, we labeled the beginning and the end, and last year, this helped us so much because we had a Rio they fried back here, and the Rio was completely fried. We had to re replace, rewire every single wire. And it wasn't this robot, but it was so helpful to have labels everywhere to be able to wire everything exactly how it's supposed to be in five minutes. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, now we're going over to Isabel to talk about some of their imagery to tie this whole branding scheme together. Yeah, so a big part of our branding is our red and white, as you know. So we, this year, we have a robot name for every time, and this year we called it Bot Dobi after the group. And we are very big about our imagery, so if you always can see, we'll put our chef hat on everything. So we have a chef on each side, as well as representing all of our sponsors on our um, intake. So we have uh, some of them on the front, and then we have the rest on the back here, where some of us have designed the logos and got them. Another big thing is like our hats and outfits. So we always wear these red chef hats at every competition. And it's a very big part of how we display ourselves. Absolutely. Uh, was there any particular process in your team history that kind of led you to develop that bigger brand identity? So we got our name Robot Castle because way back when, 
and 2006 when we became a team. Uh, so everyone was like last minute trying to decide a name and all of a sudden they were like, uh, uh, Robot Casserole. And why? Because Illinois was the number one consumer of green bean casserole and it just came like that and the red and white stuck because someone's favorite color is red and white. Absolutely, yeah. Well, again, thank you so much for all of your time. It's been incredibly interesting talking to you today. We've got plenty of time left for this event, and I hope it keeps going well for you. Thank you again so much for your time. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions. First Updates Now has become the Fun Robotics Network. Check us out at funroboticsnetwork.com and all the social links that you see above here. And check out some of our new merchandise options that are both fun and robotics related as well too, both on our website and right underneath this YouTube video.